My name is Angel Indra Bhalera. I am studying in Poddar International School in Class 8. Today, our subject is English and topic is tea trade. But before watching this video in detail, don't forget to subscribe my channel. So let's start. Have you ever wondered about the journey of tea leaves taken from a tea plantation to your cup? It takes a lot of care and detail to grow and process the tea. Tea is got from a particular plant called the Camellia sinensis. It includes only four varieties, white tea, green tea, oolong tree and black tree. To manufacture black tea, many high quality tea plants are cultivated at elevations up to 1500 meters above the sea level. Tea bushes are planted during the monsoon season as they grow quickly during this season. This leads to produce pesticides applied regularly to keep the tea bushes neat and healthy. Tea leaves are almost plucked throughout the years. Hundreds of women with expertise and cares pluck only the top leaves and the unopened bud. Each woman pluck about 21 kilograms of tea every day. The plucked leaves are transported to tea processing. Do you want to know how the tea leaves are processed? Withering, the tea leaves are gently and eventually laid out on a mesh in out through. Air is passed through the leaves to get dry then. This process removes about 80% of the surface moisture. During the withering, the chlorophyll lessens and the grassy scent disappears and the caffeine leaves flavors and aroma increases. Shredding Tea leaves are turned into black granular pellets. When they pass through the rollers which crush tears and call them, this is called CTCT. Oxidation Tea leaves are laid on a floor in a thin layers 5 to 8 cm in the height. The oxygen in the air acts upon the leaves. Oxidation gives tea its rich coppery brown color, strong flavor and health benefits. Tea will not turn out well if it's under or over oxidized. The time taken for oxidation depends on the temperature and the weather condition. In the monsoon, tea takes longer time to oxidize while in the summer it takes shorter time. Drying or firing. When the tea leaves go into the dryer, the content of moisture in the teas reduce only 2%. The dryer can dry 600 kilos of tea leaves in an hour. Sifting or sorting. The sorting is done on a roller. Pieces of tough stalk and fiber are removed. The dust and leaves are separated into grades of various shapes and sizes depending on how they will be sold. The finest tea leaves will be going to tea bags and the larger ones will be used to loose tea packets. This results in a slightly different flavor and in the final cup of tea. Winnowing Tea leaves are winnowed which blows away impurities like dust. The denser and lighter particles of tea leaves are separated. The denser particles will be packed the lighter particles will be added to non-premium tea and in the next processing cycle. Packaging Tea of a single grade but produced in different days is mixed together. It is then packed and ready to be shipped to buyers. Tea has many health benefits. Remember, as it is important to eat healthy, it is also important to drink healthy too. So guys, I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button, share with your friends and if you have any suggestions for me, please write in comment box. Bye. Have a good day. Thanks for watching my video.